It's Oscar weekend, everybody. We are looking at some of the best and, well, eh, controversial selections in uh, Oscar today. Uh, but first, we've got to talk about Beyonce. She, unfortunately, has canceled her Coachella gig on Doctor's Orders. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The announcement was made on the Music Festival's Facebook page saying Beyonce is, quote, following the advice of her doctors to keep a less rigorous schedule in the coming months. But it's not all bad news. Queen Bee is confirmed to headline next year's festival instead. The move is not entirely unexpected. The singer announced on Instagram earlier this month that she and husband Jay-Z are expecting twins. And while she hasn't revealed just how far along she is, many speculated that she already is in the second trimester at least, based on the size of her baby bump during her performance at the Grammys just a couple weeks ago. Coachella organizers have not yet announced who will replace Beyonce at the April festival. It'll be a hard task. You might say she's irreplaceable. Meanwhile, Beyonce has joined a growing number of celebrities who are speaking out following the decision by U.S. President Trump's administration to end federal protections that allowed transgender students to use bathrooms coinciding with the gender that they identify with. In a new Facebook post, the singer wrote, LGBTQ students need to know we support them. Another famous name speaking out on the decision, Caitlyn Jenner. I have a message for President Trump from, well, one Republican to another. This is a disaster and you can still fix it. You made a promise to protect the LGBTQ community. Call me. Jenner, an Olympic gold medalist, has been a very vocal advocate for the trans community ever since her own transition. It's Oscar weekend, y'all. The culmination of Hollywood's award season is upon us, and all bets are on La La Land to gather the awards like roses. The dreamy musical has already won seven Golden Globes and is just the third film in history to receive 14 Oscar nominations. We've been keeping a close watch on the magical movie since it premiered at TIFF, and Terry Hart also spoke with its lead stars. How did you know you could pull this off? Oh, I didn't, but I think that everything that's worth doing is, is risky in a sense. It was worth the challenge. Damien, the director, talked a lot about wanting to make a movie that you, you know, wanted to see in a theater and not on your iPhone. And then I read this and I thought, you know, he really has a chance at, at making something like that. We'll find out Sunday night if La La Land will indeed crush the 89th Annual Academy Awards. Remember to tune in on Monday for all your Oscar highlights. My grandfather was a king. I am his heir. I have a responsibility to return home to my people. A fascinating piece of untold history takes center stage in a United Kingdom. It tells the true story of the unsanctioned love between the king of the African country Botswana and his white British wife. Although it takes place in the late 40s, the political and racial issues at the heart of the film remain all too relevant today. We should not be fighting for segregation. We should be fighting for equality. That is where we should be focusing our minds not on the wife I have chosen, who means you no harm. Every now and again, you uh, play a role that overlaps with who you are as a person, and that was definitely a case in point. Everything that Suretze is saying in that speech, I believe in, I agree with. Africa can never be free until all those who live in her, white and black, recognize that race must have no bearing on equality and justice. That was just one of those moments where it, it doesn't feel like acting, so to speak. A United Kingdom hit select theaters today. As always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning at any time on Twitter at InCity.